Hello, 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 my favorite fellow readers. Welcome to the championship of the Tournament of Books. Thank you to those of you that helped get me here. My first championship, and I'm excited. Today, I have a special book for you called How Rusty Learned to Read. For those of you that don't know, Rusty is my adorable dog. And if you knew Rusty, you would know how incredibly amazing it is that he learned to read. Here's the story. Rusty loved to play. He loved to chase leaves and chew sticks or big pieces of board. He loved to listen to the birds sing. Every fall morning, after chasing leaves, Rusty would lie down in his favorite spot under his favorite tree. There he'd sniff the neighborhood smells and settle in for a good nap. But one day, a little yellow bird startled Rusty. Oh, my first student! Wonderful! She sang. Rusty was confused. Student, I'm not a, but if I am your teacher, the bird interrupted, you must be my student. Rusty found it hard to argue with this bird. I am so glad that you saw my sign, the bird chirped. Oh yeah, dude. I can see it, Rusty said, but I don't know how to read. Can't read, fantastic. She waved a wing. Welcome to my classroom. Yeah, but I just came here to nap, dude, Rusty said. Oh no! There will be no napping in class, declared the bird, except, of course, during nap time. Well, then, I can take a nap over here, said Rusty. I've had a very busy morning. Not to worry. I'll be around every day, chirped the bird, until the weather turns. As Rusty breathed in the crisp air, the little yellow bird hung her banner. Oh, the wondrous, mighty, gorgeous alphabet. She marveled, where it all begins. Opening up a book, bird began to read. She sang out the story of an unlucky dog named Buster who'd lost his favorite bone. A cool breeze carried her lively voice across the yard. At first, Rusty was disturbed. Before long, he found himself captivated. To Rusty, the story was as delicious as the earthy smells of fall. It was as exciting as chasing leaves. He closed his eyes and listened to every word. As Buster dug and dug under the lilac bush, the bird read, he felt something familiar. Rusty waited. Was it the bone? He wondered. Silence. Was it the bone? He called to the bird more silence. Was it the bone, bruh? Rocket hollered. Suddenly, he was rushing to the tree. Dude, well, was it? But the little yellow bird was gone. The next morning, Rusty arrived early. At last, the little yellow bird appeared. Hello, how wonderful to see you in class, she chirped. 
I can tell by your waggy tail that you are well rested. I'd like to hear the rest of the story, please, said Rusty. That seems like a fine way to start our day, chirped the bird. She gave Rusty a name tag and began to read. Every day, Rusty returned to the little yellow bird's classroom. In the morning, the bird taught him a new letter until he had learned all of the wonderful, mighty, gorgeous alphabet. Together, they sang out the sounds that each letter makes and spelled the sounds they heard around them. With a G and an R, they spelled Mr. Barker's growl. They spelled the sound of the wind, which was growing colder by the day. Soon they were spelling real words like F-A-L-L -L for the gusty time of year and R-E-D for the color of the leaves. And each afternoon, the bird read a story. She read stories about dogs and birds. She read about leaves changing colors and about birds flying south for the winter. Then one day, the weather turned and the letter banner disappeared. See you again in the glorious spring, the bird sang. And as she flew out into the wintry sky, she called, don't forget, words are built one letter at a time. The days grew shorter and the leaves fell from the trees. The grass became crunchy. Soon, Rusty's classroom disappeared under the snow. He remembered the little yellow bird's alphabet and practiced his letters. Rocket thought about the bird's sweet chirp while he sounded out words like D, I, G, and W, I, N. D and C O L D. He made new friends and spelled their names. Hello, E M M A. Hi there, F R E D. He spelled everything S U N. M E L P. When Rocket spelled M U D, he knew that spring, as it always does, had returned. The breeze grew warmer, the grass grew greener, and a sign appeared. Class starts tomorrow. Early the next morning, Rusty rushed to his classroom, waited, and spelled W-A-G. Soon, the little yellow bird arrived. Aha! My star student! She sang, how wonderful to see you. I can tell by your waggy tail that you are ready for class. Then together, they began to read. They read stories about birds flying north in the spring. They read about picnics in the warm sun. And they read about Buster, the lucky dog who found his bone under a lilac bush. And when they were done, they read it again and again, and A-G-A-I-N. Is that what you do with your books?
Isn't it the best? Thank you again for joining me and allowing me to share this book with you. Have a great day.